My first styling tip, trick, and technique is for curly hair. Behind the chair, curly hair can be one of the most intimidating textures to style. In order to polish out her hair, I'm going to use a 3 quarter inch to a 1 inch iron. This is a spring iron, but you can also use the wand iron where it's large at the top and tapers at the bottom. Now, you can see on the right side, we've already polished her curls, so this is how we did it. I want to keep Raven's curl looking as natural as possible. So when I'm curling the hair, I'm just going to take a random section and I'm going to curl around the barrel of my iron. Making sure to get those ends in and just unravel it from the barrel. My next section, again, I'm just going to randomly grab. I'm actually going to wrap in the opposite direction. This will ensure that her hair doesn't look too set, and it also goes with her natural curl pattern. Now, looking at the ends, you can see that they need to be a little bit more polished. So instead of wrapping all the way up to the scalp, I can just take small sections and wrap just at the ends of our hair to polish. And again, in the front, we'll just take a smaller section and wrap in the opposite direction. Finally, in order to finish out the top and the front, I want to get lift at her base area. So I'm going to place in my curling iron, off base, and again wrap around the barrel. Repeating my movements in the front, I want her hair to come away from her face. off base and just wrap around the iron. Maybe we'll just do one more, two more here in the front. Notice that I'm not going all the way up to the scalp. And you can see how beautifully that polishes her curls without making them look like you've set them. I'm going to finish off Raven's hair with our Play Dirty. Our Play Dirty from our short system is a texturizing hairspray that's going to give me the shine of a two and a hold of a five. The reason why I like to use this product for curly hair is because it still allows the hair to have shine, movement, and won't set it like a helmet, like a hairspray might. And just lightly scrunch that in, making sure that we have her have width instead of height, because width is really the modern version of volume. I really love the way that her curls are setting, but if you were to want to expand this style even more, I'm going to use my blow dryer with my diffuser attachment. One thing that I really love about this diffuser is that it has prongs around it. So that way, when I'm diffusing the hair, I can really lift the hair off the root. Go ahead and flip over for me. I'm just gonna have my model flip over. I have my heat on low heat, but high airflow. I'm just going to massage this around, really circle up, and bring it off of her scalp. Okay, now I'm going to have her flip all the way back up. Excellent. You can see how much more body and volume she has at the root area, just to give her a little bit more va va vim to her curls. If you want to expand a curl or expand curls on the side, you can also take individual curls and just push them up slightly to give expansion. I'm 
Again, just grab a section from underneath, push those curls up just to give expansion. Beautiful.